What's up my party people, I'm your host Zerko, and today we're back for some mining and some crafting. Not necessarily in that order. But, as you might be able to hear already, I have done a little bit of work off camera since the last episode, so let's go check it out. So, as you can see, we've been busy at work doing some animal breeding, and we got a whole bunch of cows that should hold us off for food for a little while, um, as long as we keep up with it. And I went and got another sheep and started breeding those as well. Um, I don't have as many sheeps in here just because there's only so much grass and this is where they're going to stay for a little while. So that's what we got with that. And you might be able to see I put a layer of carpet on top of our roof just so that we don't have the same outcome that we did last episode where we come home in the middle of the night and there are just monsters all over that roof. So the other thing, um, in addition, the other farms are doing just fine. And the other thing that we are prepared for today is, as you can see, I put some stairs on the staircase so we don't have to do the bunny hop up and down the stairs anymore. And I prepared a little bit of a tunnel so that we can start strip mining and uh, that's going to be the focus of today's episode so i've got some materials prepared um, before you really get any enchanted pickaxes or diamond pickaxes you're really going to want to carry a few because while it is easier going up and down the stairs now it's still going to get a little bit um, tiresome and we put a chest in here just so that we don't have to make a trip up every time we want to dump off like stone or anything like that. So without further ado, let's jump right in to how we're going to get this done. All right. So in early Minecraft, everyone's going to want to find diamonds. Now, there's a couple of best practices to do that. Um, they're all going to involve being on Y level 12, as you can see to the left there and just seeing as many blocks as possible um, because it is a numbers game when you get down to it. Diamonds have a one in 1200 chance of spawning for every stone block in um, Y levels six through 16. Now, Y level 12 just happens to be the most common level to find them at. And so that's why strip mining is done here at Y level 12. Now, the, there are two variations of strip mining, and one is going to be with this too high tunnel here, and that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, it's the one that I prefer um, for a couple of various reasons that I'll get into in a second. But the other way is you can actually dig a one high tunnel, and all you need to do that is to have a trap door at the beginning of the tunnel. You stand in the block of it, you activate it and you go into this crawl mode. Now, crawling and digging these one high tunnels is fine. You actually don't need to light up the tunnels because no monsters can spawn in there. But there is a downfall that, as you can see, you can't crawl very fast in it. So once you get a pickaxe that can dig blocks out faster than you can crawl here, then it's actually going to go down in efficiency because you're going to be limiting yourself to the speed at which you can travel. And with these two high tunnels, you don't have that much of a limitation because your speed limitation is how fast you can sprint. Now, you can sprint really fast and you're never going to get to that breakthrough point where the character travel speed is going to be slower than how much you can mine out. So the reason that we have these tunnels two blocks apart is because every time we dig out a new layer, we get to see all of the blocks immediately surrounding it, right? And like I said, the name of the game is seeing as many blocks as possible. So we can see these blocks, this block, these blocks, and that block on the bottom every time we dig out the tunnel. So if we dug out another tunnel and we only left one block of space, then this one side would be completely pointless uh, because we've already seen that side. So we actually go two blocks out and now we see this side 
and we haven't seen it yet before, so we have a new chance of seeing a diamond. And with two blocks in between, it's actually the perfect number because then all of the blocks from this block all the way over here are going to be seen just by digging out these two tunnels. So hopefully that makes sense. And without further ado, let's get into a montage of trying to find some diamonds. All right, so we already found our first bit of diamond, and the best practice for how to handle this is to dig out a space around it and this way we're going to both uncover the entire vein of diamonds as you can see here we got a quite a bit of diamonds looks like five already um, I think that's going to be all that we're going to get usually they only spawn in a two by two space and Oh, there we go. We got actually six. So this one is going to be six for us. Now, another good reason for digging out around it is because as you can see and possibly hear, um, see down in the subtitles, there is lava around us. Now, something that you definitely don't want to happen is to be digging out your diamond and it falls straight down into lava. So that would be a good thing to know beforehand, so that way you can take any necessary precautions that, and uh, you know maybe handle the lava before you actually mine out the diamonds. But this is going to be a real nice start to our collection, and we already have enough for both a diamond pickaxe and a diamond sword, and we would actually still have one left over for a diamond shovel. So, I'm going to go get those made up, and we will continue looking for diamonds. So, we did find something, not exactly diamonds, but can be just as cool because what we found was a monster spawner. Now, these are super useful if you turn them into an XP grinder, and uh, that's pretty easy to do, so we're definitely have to do that at some point here. But for now, we're just going to light it up to deactivate it and check these oddly placed uh, <laughs> oddly placed chests here. Uh, we got a projectile protection 4 book, a name tag, some gunpowder, golden apple, protection 2 book, and a couple of music discs. So, not uh, the best haul in the world, but it's actually pretty good considering... These music discs would definitely be able would definitely be hard to find and we got 13. Now that has an interesting backstory behind that music disc and at some point I might cover it but uh, for now 
what we're going to do, since we don't have any inventory space, is we're just going to go drop some stuff off, come back, pick it up, and continue our mining session. Alright folks, so we have gotten to the end of our little tunnel here, and unfortunately we only found the one uh, vein of diamonds, but that's okay. We had enough to make our essential diamond tools, and uh, we found the dungeon as well, so that will definitely come in handy a little bit down the line. Maybe next episode we will convert that into a little XP grinder. Um, it would have been really cool if it was a skeleton spawner, but hey, beggars can't be choosers, am I right? So, um, there's only one thing left to do, and that is to go grab um, another iron pickaxe, and we're going to go back down through each one of these tunnels and pick up all of the other resources. So, let's get right into that. This is why you go back for all the other resources, folks. It looks like underneath a redstone vein that was hidden by a coal vein, we have found more diamonds. So let's uh, do our little procedure here where we dig out around them and just see exactly what we're working with. And this looks like another fairly decent sized vein. So, looks like we're going to get five out of this one. And there we go. Five more diamonds to add to, the, to, add to the collection. And that is why we uh, make sure that we go back and get all of the resources. like we have done it uh, yet again and this vein of four diamonds was also hiding under coal so you know all you guys that say oh I don't need the coal there's no reason for me to take the coal just in this one session we have found two entire veins of diamonds hiding underneath coal so you do need the coal for smelting and uh, there could be diamonds hiding under it so maybe you should think about that next time but uh, we are definitely doing pretty well in terms of return from this actually we only found the one vein while we were doing our initial strip mining but so far we have found three veins in total of diamonds and uh I already put away a whole bunch of redstone and you can see that we have quite a bit of other resources as well. So I'm going to grab the rest of these resources real quick and I'll meet you back up topside. All right, so I got all of the valuable spoils from our mining trip and uh, it looks like we got a pretty good haul. As you can see, we got over two stacks of iron. We got three and a half stacks of coal we got an entire stack of redstone blocks plus another stack and a half of dust. That is a lot of redstone. 
We got 19 gold. We got the six diamonds that we already used for our tools, plus nine more diamonds. Um, we got two music discs and two enchanted books. So, and a little bit of lapis as well. So, that's a pretty good haul. And the whole thing took me maybe, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half. So, strip mining is definitely the way to go when you need resources. So, now, what are we going to do with these resources? Well, let me get some of this stuff put away, and I'll let you know the first thing that we're going to do. Alright, we're back down in the mine, and the first thing we're going to do is grab some obsidian. So, obsidian is going to be super useful for us in a couple of different ways, and uh, we will show you that probably next episode. But I'm going to get a little bit of this obsidian here, get the achievement unlocked, and uh, this is the best way to grab obsidian, in my opinion at least, is you mine one out so that you have a little pocket, you throw your water bucket down in there, and then you can just sit here and you'll mine it, and then the water will flow and it will take you in the direction of the next block, just like that. So I'm going to grab a little bit of this obsidian here, and I'll be right back with you. All right, so I went ahead and picked up about 20 blocks of obsidian. And the first thing, you can already tell what it is by what I got in my inventory. We're going to first craft up some paper. And then we're going to craft up a book. We'll just put them all into books, all the leather that we got. And the last thing is an enchanting table. Now this is going to be amazing for us. So definitely something that we are going to make much use of later on. Um, probably next episode, seeing since we also conveniently found that dungeon with the monster spawner in it so we will probably be getting a enchanting setup set up next episode and um, maybe if we have time for it the reason i collected a little bit extra obsidian is so that we can go to the nether but that is going to be all I have time for today, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, go ahead and leave it a like, um, comment down below, and subscribe if you want to see more. Now, an extra little announcement is that uh, I will be hosting a giveaway at uh, 50 and 100 subscribers where I will be picking one random subscriber and giving them a free copy of their choice of Minecraft version or the Minecraft Dungeons game. So go ahead and tell your friends, post it on your socials, and uh, let's see if we can get up to 100 subscribers. All right. Well, I will catch you guys next time. See ya.